about it. I have been sick. I feel really rusty at making videos now. And we gotta talk about Angus. I have not made an Angus video lesson, anything, in a long time. And there's been a good reason for that. But first off, we gotta talk about how he tricked us. Angus tricked us, and it's kind of messed up. And no, I'm joking, he's, he's awesome. Angus is the man. But what I'm talking about is that Angus, his stuff is deceptively simple. You know, you hear it and you're like, I can play that solo. And then you go to learn it and you're like, hold on a second, there's a lot of good stuff in here. It's not these simple, just rock and roll pentatonic licks. It's smothered in all of these, you know, musically rich concepts that you can apply all over the place. So that's what we're gonna talk about. I have a lick here that is in the style of Angus Young, which leads me to my next point, is that I am officially launching my first course in the style of another player, Angus Young, Legends Unlock. It's here, pre-sale starts today. If you guys have ever wanted to support the channel, please check this out. These are the most affordable courses we've ever made and probably one of the most fun things I think I've ever done in the course world. It's all based around Angus deep diving into his style of playing. We got back in tracks, 10 of these big phrases. So if you like what we do today in today's lesson, this is taken directly from the course. So this is one of the 10, I say licks, but you can see it's not just a lick, it's like this big extended phrase. So we covered 10 of these concepts over these two different backing tracks. There's a lot in here. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, I was bummed when I had to postpone it because I wasn't feeling very good. But it's here. If you guys want to check that out, that is linked down below. The pre-order price, pre-sale, 55% off this week only. And one final thing is to anyone who pre-orders the course, obviously you get the pre-order price, but you will also get an invitation to a live masterclass that I'm going to be doing where we're going to nerd out about Angus. You can ask your questions and you're going to get more licks all in the style of Angus Young. So if you're like me, Angus is one of my guitar heroes. I've taken so much away from him. And uh, like I said, this whole thing was so much fun. So you can check out more information in the links down below. I'll have an official like course announcement video later on this week weekend and uh, giveaway, all kinds of stuff is gonna be going on this week. So we're back in action is all I'm saying. So let's get into the lesson. Hope you guys dig this and uh, yo, check out the course. All right, bye guys. On to lick number three. Now we're kicking it still in the key of E, still in box number one. And this has one of my most stolen Angus licks ever. <laughs> Everyone steals this from Angus. It's the double roll. We've been doing these the, the simple kind of like little things like that. Angus is like, no bro, double roll. So we're nice and slow. We've got this. And you know, I'm talking about the double roll a lot, but there's so many little things tucked away in here as well. The slow bend, Angus does that all the time. He hits a note and he doesn't just go straight to pitch. He's, it's real slow. It adds tension. There's all this like anticipation of when he's gonna like take off. And then you have this just killer rock and blues lick. Now for point of reference, I'm getting this idea from what do you do for your money, honey? So lots of cool, that, that one's just flooded with cool Angus licks, but this is kind of one of my favorite ones. So. We're kicking it off here, box one, like I said, E minor pentatonic, doing a big old full step bend on 15th fret. But again, it's a slow bend. Right into this, it feels like you're falling. I, I, my, my fingers are just kind of like, what's happening? I'm just falling through the pentatonic scale. Now you're gonna go 12 on the high E string to 15 and then pull off to 12. And then to 15 on the B. So yeah, you're gonna go 12 on the high E string to 12 on the B. See that roll right there, index finger. Now what you have to get used to with this, that is kind of the most challenging part with any of these rolling things that I've been talking about is the rocking or rolling, hey, rock and roll, uh, motion of your finger that you have to, you don't bar and just anchor your hand. You don't want all of that mess. You know, those notes are clashing, hitting, you don't like it, it sounds sloppy. You have to roll. See that little motion from my finger right there? Boom, I'm, I'm playing the note and I'm just rolling my finger. 
right there. That's the trick to getting that sound to not be so messy. Sometimes you might want that clash. Maybe you want it to be real gritty. It's an option, you know, but make sure you can do it both ways, nice and clean or down and dirty. So, we did the 12 on the high E string, the 12 on the B, back to 15 on the B. So, now you go to 14 on the G. I kind of view that as like a section of the lick. Right there. If you can get that part down, that on its own is a cool lick. And he's just like, hold up, I'm Angus Young, I'm gonna make it cooler because it's what I do. And he throws in another roll. Now what's cool about this one is that it actually outlines a chord. The whole thing is essentially an E minor. Like there's an E minor arpeggio. But he throws in this one more which is perfectly an E minor triad, just straight up. You're gonna go to 12 on the B, to 12 on the G, and then 14 on the D. So. Right there. Ba -ba -bow. That is an E minor triad. It outlines your E minor chord. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's an E minor. Now, another kind of like signature Angus move that we haven't done yet, but we're getting ready to throw it in here, are these double stop unison bends. Now what I'm doing is I'm holding down 14 on the G to 15 on the B. Now notice that I like to bend with as many fingers behind the note as possible. So when I'm holding down 14, I have my middle finger also on the G, a fret behind, and my index finger also on the G, a fret behind my middle finger. So I'm kind of like stacking 12, 13, 14, but I'm only playing 14. The reason why I'm doing that is because it gives you a lot of strength and control over your bends. One of the biggest things you can take away from Angus is his bending and he has a very signature vibrato and you need a lot of strength to get those those in there. Angus, it's, his vibrato is so hard to copy. And what I'm doing also is I'm holding down 15 on the B with my pinky. So I'm using all four fingers to do this two note lick. So I play both of those together and I bend 14 on the G. It's very, you know, Angus has a lot of these country elements in his playing. This is like a very country thing, if you ask me. Now, I'm going to play the same notes, but not together. I'm going to uh, make them individual notes now. So, do that twice, then I'm going to bend 14 by itself, play 15, and then play 14 again. So, I'm still letting them clash, but it's not that together sound. Angus does this a lot. Think of like the Shook Me All Night Long solo, or not Shook Me All Night Long, but um, Shoot the Thrill. That, that whole solo was basically that. So here we go. So we have that, and then we're gonna go. I think it's because his licks that sound like he's scatting almost on the guitar. It gives it, it's so, it's rock, it's pentatonic and it's vocal all at the same time. The master, that's what Angus is. So I'm, I'm doing this uh, descending pentatonic idea here. 12 on the high E string, and then 15 to 12. You could pick that or pull off if you want. Um, to me, I'm gonna pick it because it's kind of more the Angus way. So. 14 on the G, that is another bent note. Then 12 on the B. Now I'm gonna do another one of those flurry things that we talked about from lick number one. So we have that. 15, pulling off to 14, pulling off to 12. So. Now, another thing that we should probably like note is how quickly that one bend is, that 14 on the G. I'm not messing around. There's no time. I'm not sitting on it. All the notes have kind of the same amount of space. <laughs> I don't know what the... <laughs> 
And then I wanted to I want to keep ending it because like I said, this is just such a just Angus move, that rolling motion. So so I'm gonna go 14 on the D to 14 on the G, back to 14 on the D, and then here we're ending on our minor third again. You're gonna go 12, hammer on to 14, pull off to 12. Again, all part of that flurry sequence. So that whole thing would be right there. It's a very Angus phrase. All of these are. Imagine that. The Angus course is full of Angus phrases. Right there. Right there. Angus in your face. And I think that's going to be it. Thank you all again for tuning in, watching the videos. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, trying to get back into the swing of things here. If you check out the course, it means so much. That's the biggest way to support the channel. We've kind of decided to take this path of a lot of these brands and stuff are offering to sponsor the channel. And I was like, well, I don't want to do that. What if we were self-sponsoring by creating these courses more often? So if you want to support the channel, that's what these courses are all about. Uh, we got some really big plans coming up this next year. So uh, yeah, I'm going to bounce on out of here. Thank you guys as always. End it bluesy Angus Young style. How would you do that Angus style? Unplug. Oh, right there. It just happened. Bye, guys. Woo.